All right, happy Father's Day, everybody. Uh, I'm gonna give you a brief, uh, I'm, I'm out here at Camp Croft State Park in Spartanburg, South Carolina. This is my hometown. I'm out here with Miss Daisy, of course. Where I go, she goes. You see her running around up behind me right there. Getting into everything, like dogs do. Camp Croft State Park, let me give you a little brief history of this former military base here. Uh, Camp Croft, a military base, opened up in 1941, and it shut down in 1947. Um, and, and in 1948, it opened as a state park uh, by uh, then Senator Strom Thurmond of South Carolina, who was also a retired Army general. Okay, uh, it also housed about uh, 2,000 uh, German POW uh, prisoners of war <laughs> and they used them there's a local iron foundry here who the rocks around here are uh, is, has a lot of iron ore in it and uh, you know of course uh, they use German prisoners uh, for labor uh, there is a town there is a um, iron foundry uh, less than a like right across the street from where I grew up, and I'll show that to you uh, in a future video. Um, let's see. Camp Croft is named after Major General Edward Croft. He was a Major General in the Army, and he was originally from Greenville, South Carolina. That's the next city over in the next county. Uh, troops began training here in 1941, and more than 250,000 troops trained here for the European battlefield. They picked this spot because it's hilly, it's rolling hills, and it has uh, rivers and creeks and things they would have found in your, it, It's similar terrain to, to uh, Western Europe, I'm told. Um, most of the troops that trained here came from New England, Pennsylvania, and New York. And some of them returned back here uh, after their tour of duty was over. Um, seven seven thousand acres make up the park. Now, when it was a military base, it was nineteen thousand acres. Uh, seven thousand acres does make up the state park. Uh, the rest of the land was sold off to farmers that lived in this area. And um, there are three natural lithium springs on this property. Occasionally, unexploded ordnance is still found inside the park. Uh, we, uh, we had a major forest fire here in 2006, about six months after I retired from the Marine Corps. And I was a volunteer fireman at the time. And um, uh, we fought a major forest fire here and uh, we had to get pulled out because uh, we were in an area where unexploded ordnance uh, began exploding uh, but uh, whenever that happens they call out the Army Corps of Engineers and they come out and uh, you know pick up the mortar round or artillery shell whatever it is uh, ha occasionally hand grenades uh, like I said this was a former military base and some of the some of the original buildings are still on here. If the building is not here, the foundation is, and uh, I'll show you some of that in, a, in another video. Also, a Revolutionary War battle took place on this ground uh, between the Patriots and the Loyalists. Now, a lot of what a lot of people forget about the Revolutionary War is not everybody in the colony wanted freedom. Uh, quite a few of the settlers uh, were loyal to the British government and fought for the British. So at the same time there's a revolutionary war going on, there is a civil war going on inside the revolutionary war between patriots and loyalists. And a battle was fought right here on this ground uh, between the Fair Forest Creek and Kelsey Creek. Now myself, I grew up on the Fair Forest Creek. That's on the Roebuck side where the Roebuck's Regiment was located. 
anyways uh that's some of the basic uh history of camp croft uh this place has been a a big part of my life growing up uh, there's a lake right here in front of me that uh, I'm going to take you down to. That's uh, pr probably one of the first places I fished as a kid with my dad. Uh, we used to come out here for picnics. Uh, it, it is a state park located right here in my county. I don't have but five miles to drive to it. Um, they have uh, here at this state park, they have, uh, they have horse course uh whatever they do for equine uh competitions they have equine competitions here uh horse shows and stuff that's just right here to my my right your left um and i'll show you the corrals and all that stuff that's right behind the main uh um uh ranger cabin uh, some of the Department of Natural uh, or Natural Resources and, and Department of Forestry officials actually live on this former military base, now State Park. Um, and their houses are located upon the main road, which would be back behind me um, a couple of miles uh, as you come into the main gate. Now, the main gate where the military base is is it the main gate stanchions are still there uh only the sign changed and it still says camp croft now it says camp croft state park uh the lake that is to my front um these are natural spring fed lakes there's three of them on this property on this state park um and they are lithium Springs. Now, when you, people say lithium, lithium batteries, you know, are probably the most powerful batteries. So when you say lithium, it's got to have some sort of magnetism or electric, electrical stuff. I don't know. I don't know if it has uh, the, the Native Americans may have even used them for uh, for medicine wells. I don't know. Uh, it's something I could look up for you. Um. It is Sunday and Father's Day. I hope all of my fathers out there are, have uh, a, a very good day. I hope uh, let's, uh, let's all remember the fathers that are deployed around the world in our military. Keep them and their families in your prayers. Okay, that's about all the history I can come up with. Uh, let's just get into the tour.